criteria for um, selecting um, innovative technologies within our school, look, there are so many of them and it is a complicated process. But if I had to choose just three, I think I would go for three S's. I'd be looking at, first of all, student outcomes. That's what we're in the business of here. We're in the business of education. So we're looking for innovative technologies that are going to support our students in being greater uh, or having greater capacity in engaging in their business of learning. So number one, S, student outcomes. The second one, um, I'm going to put two terms together here, sustainability and scalability. Um, it's great to have a good idea, um, but what we have to consider is whether or not our institution can actually sustain that either through the infrastructure that we have, through the staffing um, that we have to support it, through the professional learning that we um, have to engage in to make it work. And the notion of scalability, it's great if we've got a good idea, but if that good idea needs to transfer from just one student and one class across to our entire institution, we need to make sure that we can scale it in that way. And the third one, perhaps the most important for me in my role, um, is this notion of support. We can't do everything ourselves. So when we bring in an innovative idea or we bring in an innovative solution, we have to be able to rely on the support structure of that third party as well. So having those three things as key in our selection process is important. How does it impact student engagement or sorry, student um, learning? Uh, can we sustain it and can we scale it? And the last one is what sort of support do we have in making that innovation possible within our school.